Good morning, folks. Welcome back to Whatever Wednesday, or I said, well, Valheim Wednesday doesn't really work, but it's Whatever Wednesday, so we're playing Valheim again, because I have been extremely addicted to this fucking game. It's a very good game, very well put together. It's got some weird quirks to it, but that's part of being an indie game. Um... Yeah, we're going to be continue building up a nice little homestead, getting more ore and getting more weapons and tools to make our lives a little easier. And yeah, it's going to be a nice, possibly chill time, depending on how many trolls decide they want to bonkers, crush our skulls in. Uh, b before we get to that, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund. <clears throat> LGBTQ people are three times more likely to be jailed. At risk of abuse, many can't afford bail. They get them out. <laughs> pretty simple slogan, but pretty, um, pretty, uh, sh it shows what they do. <laughs> and the LGBTQ Freedom Fund pays bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. If that sounds like something you'd be willing to, willing or, or want to contribute towards, I have a donation button below my stream that will take you to the Tiltify page. I have a, a exclamation point donate command. I'll take you to the same place. My chat bot shares that command every 30 minutes or so. And when the stream comes up, on the bottom left of the screen, there'll be a QR code they can scan. They'll also take you to the Tilted Wave page. I don't see a single cent of whatever comes in. It's just to help donate things. But still, any support you give to that fundraiser is greatly appreciated. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Let's do the dealio. Yeah, that, that's the dealio. That's what that means. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, all right, let's start the game. Let's sit here for a second to let it... Uh, Oh, never mind. It didn't take that long. Previously, it's taken longer. <clears throat> okay, this is our character for this for the stream world. So let's get loaded in. Let's find out what we're doing. Now I have some ideas of what to do immediately once we load in because it's some stuff I did on my offline file. I did this monstrosity last time, I remember that, because we had to get a, a singular boar that's not a two star over here I mean I got I got a door and right, so now we've got oh there's one <laughs> I was gonna say oh, we haven't brought a two-star boar yet and well there we go oh wait what do you do I guess we did how did you get out <laughs> child Well, another 50 minutes or so, those two stars will be born. Let's get you back in here. There we go. <laughs> Don't know how that child escaped, but... Um... Yeah. <laughs> so with that, we can kind of ignore these boars for a little bit. They're, they'll be fine. Kind of just maturing on the... They don't need food to survive. Like, you don't have to feed them or they die. You just need to feed them when you want to breed. And then we can reclaim all this wood... I think that might be one of my last of those uh, yellow mushrooms. Yeah, 
at you. Got him. All right, how is, ah, I remember in the last stream we finally got around to planting carrots, and then, um, yeah. We plant, we planted the carrots we had, and then we planted, we do some seed carrots that will turn into, well, seeds. <laughs> as you may, as you may expect from the name, seed carrots grow into more seeds. Hello, Marvelius. Thank you for the lurk. Hope you're having a great day today. <clears throat> get rid of this rock. It's in the way of where I want to expand my crops here. Throwing rocks and shit. Come here. Come here, you little bastard. Got him. I can't really be too mad at them. Well, I mean, I can, but they all, they just kind of, they give you a small, a steady but small stream of just renewable um, wood and stone. So just over the course of time, you just get lots of free stuff from them, and they're not very hard. They're just kind of annoying to fight. Okay. in here and we'll very carefully try to flatten out some more land mostly but yeah as you can see like when you do flattening land stuff it gets rid of the uh, cultivated land which um, not what we want because if we accidentally uncultivate the land that those are planted on they will stop growing and probably eventually die and then we'll have to go find some more carrot seeds and we, you don't want that <laughs> All right, it's getting a little dark. Yeah, we're gonna have to probably uh, use a pickaxe on some of this stuff anyway, because it's just not flattening quite enough. Easy way to see that is to try to attaching like a, uh, like let me let me show you. Uh, if you try to attach one of these to like your wall here, and then uh, you can you can kind of see that there's like, you know, there's a bit of overlap there. It's an easy way to kind of tell roughly where you need to swing your pickaxe. But it's about to be nighttime, so we're just gonna sleep before then. Gives those boars plenty of time to grow up anyway, so. Ooh, how are the bees? Not much, honey. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Was my food in here? No, I think it was in the top. Yeah, for now we're going to be uh, trying to stockpile... Um... Honey. Although we might have to start eating some, cause yeah, honey, honey's good, decent food initially, but it's you know, oh, wow, pretty good comfort level for this early. Yeah, but if anyone is into, like, Viking stuff, like, I love Viking culture. It's really cool. They've did a lot of cool stuff. Like, their boats were amazing, and their mythology is pretty cool. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, if anyone's into either Viking culture, um, freaking games like Minecraft or Terraria, this, this game's awesome. Pick it up. It's really good. Really solid game. 
I've gotten lots and lots and lots of hours out of it already, and just, there's no there's no stop in the near future that I can tell of what how many hours I'm gonna put into this fucking game. Um, stone. I mean, it's ultimately not gonna matter too much how flat this is, cause I'm it's probably going to uh. Very, li very likely gonna not be super flat anyway. And they're not gonna matter too much as long as it's kind of flat. But yeah, I want to expand this out some more so that when we do have our our new seeds, we can plant a bunch more of them in like a nice long row and make it really easy to plant. Okay. We're also probably going to put another work well we might move this work no nah, this workbench is fine where it is because it helps keep this area spawned in too which is currently our little boar farm uh let's grab some more of these steak walls they cost four wood and they're pretty damn strong And if, if things are in this like area where like the circle you see the circle that's that's where you can build but that's also the no spawn zone for monsters so like we won't have any like great orbs spawning in our farm if we put um, if we put another we're gonna put another workbench here just kind of extend it out a little bit more near the edge of our uh, current one so we can keep just building more stuff that's going to be spawn-proofed. Because we don't really have a limit on what area we can use. Like, at a certain point things are they get unrendered, but we're not nowhere near close to that point right now. So we can kind of just do what we want. And what I want to do is make a big farm. Which may or may not involve a... Uh, a boar auto breeder that you just throw food at them and then they eat the food and then they then basically by abusing game mechanics they just breed forever as long as you're within render dis distance of the of the boars I don't really I don't really consider like cheating or anything just because well it's no different than like if you're playing Minecraft and using like a mob spawner or something it's just game mechanics, you know? Why is it not? You know what? Whatever. <clears throat> no, it started to rain. Of course it did. Okay, with that, this should be nice and protected in here now. So we can... Break down those walls. Let's grab our little cultivator and we'll cultivate. Alright, <clears throat> and then when we next grow, when we next have these done, we'll have that much more space to just plant rows of carrots. Because from what I've been able to tell by just like reading stuff online from other people is that carrots are the ideal food to breed uh, boars with because, well, they have a very small hitbox. Kind of wanting to see if maybe there's uh, more meadows we can go explore to get some more bees. I don't think the I don't think I have to be near the boars to have them uh, grow. That's kind of what we're waiting on right now, anyway. So mm, you know, uh, did I have one of these chests just for like stuff? I do. Unfortunately, we've got a, an awful lot. <laughs> Of just spare stone right now because we don't have anything we can use it much of it for but we definitely want a lot of it for future stuff uh, let's see. Okay, that's where I'm putting dandelions right now okay uh, do I have a cauldron I do 
Queen's Jam is... Oh, we can make Queen's Jam. Yeah, we're probably gonna make some Queen's Jam. It's, it, it's, they make, one recipe takes six blueberries and eight raspberries, but it basically equates to, like, you get four from the recipe, and it's a much better... It's a bit better stamina food than those little mushrooms I was eating. It lasts longer, too, so... We'll have to be on our lookout for uh, blueberries and raspberries when we're out and about, because, yeah... Um, we just kind of have this. Oh, that's because we got the bronze axe last stream. I was like, wait, why do we have this? <laughs> uh, do I have a farming box yet? Uh, yeah, we do. We also have the, uh, the butcher knife, which is nice. Okay. For now, we're gonna leave this wooden here because we're gonna just be running. Around. We're just gonna be running around doing stuff, so we don't really need a bunch of. We don't need much wood on us, and if we do, we'll just kind of cut a tree or something. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, let's fix our shit. We are currently at we're at tier four work. Oh, we haven't won the ads. Is okay. I think it's the highest we can currently get our, um, oh yeah, we've maxed out the bow, too. Yeah, it's pretty important. The bow's pretty pivotal, pi pi pivotable, pivotal weapon early game. You use it for a lot of things. <laughs> pivotable. Beep, 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 that's all, folks. Fucking shit. <laughs> um... We got all these little, all these things that say like RB and BB. Those are berry bushes that I have uh, marked. So let's go see if any of those actually have berries on them. I'm not sure. Like it takes like five hours for berries to respawn. I don't know when the last time I actually picked berries was. There's like one here. Cause yeah, if we're gonna be, if Queen's Jam is gonna be one of our main foods for this part of the game. We're going to want to be able to make a good amount of it, so we're going to need raspberries, and, well, you're going to want, you're going to want raspberries eventually for other stuff, too, so. Oh, looks like we might have the ability to pick a lot of raspberries, because they've either respawned or I just never picked them in the first place. Also, just collect this deer while we're here. Because one of our other current foods is deer meat, so it, it pays to um you know get more of that when you can. Because you can't farm deer. <laughs> I mean, you can, but you can't like grow deer in like your base infinitely like you can with boars. Because yeah, those those boars are gonna be very important to our future uh, livelihood. Come here, Grayling. Okay, dead. <clears throat> kind of wandering in this meadows area, see if there's any other spots I haven't um, identified for resources. Like, little mushrooms are good. They can be used for carrot soup once we get more carrots. A little overkill shooting a fire arrow at this deer, but, I mean, it's kind of just the arrows I have. <laughs> uh, so I'm trying to trying to I'm trying to go to these like kind of blank areas in the map that don't have little still circle markers on them because maybe I just like ran through those real quick without really stopping to identify anything. There's some boars there. I'm not really that concerned about the farming boar or killing those because well, I've got boars at my farm that are gonna very quickly be extremely overpowered because. Normal boars, when you kill them, drop one meat and one uh, leather. But two star boars drop four of each. I cannot, like, overstate how ridiculously overpowered it is that we found a two star boar this early on. Like, usually you can only, you can only find them if you're either, like, 800 meters away from spawn in a meadows biome, which is a little uncommon. 
or like they can just kind of spawn randomly like any other mob at that point or you um can look, there's these uh, rune stones that spawn boars next to them and they can spawn then and that's how we found our two star boar I was just kind of wandering around and just saw I was like oh we have to stop everything we're doing for this cuz yeah Having, having two star boars basically means you just don't have to worry about boar meat ever again. Because once you get them kind of growing, you get so much of it. You can start using it to make charcoal too, because if you let food cook for too long, it turns to coal. How did you not see me? I'm like right next to you, stinky. <clears throat> anyway, this is, doesn't like this part of the meadows has much here, so... We're gonna... Well, I kind of forgot about those boars. Oh, well. Oh, there's some raspberries here that I did not uh, mark. There's only three, but... Hey, that's still three raspberries. That's like... Like almost half of a uh, Queen's Jam craft. <clears throat> ah, next. You can, you can cook their tails for food, but it's only really useful in, like, the first, like like pre Ikethir kind of days because it's not they're not very good and next can be a little annoying to find like that they, they only spawn near water or if it's raining like they might sp spawn like in the field was there like a fish just doing some parkour over here on the land it might have been yeah the necktails are also used for um mead later uh, there's two here i'll mark them I, sure, I really need to... I haven't marked any mushrooms yet. I have marked, like, one. <laughs> if I'm going to be making a... Well, carrot soup's slightly better than Queen's Jam, but... That takes a lot of carrots, and we're not going to have that for a little bit. So, we're going to... Make some Queen's Jam, and then we'll transition over to carrot soup eventually. It's slightly better, and... Carrots, once you get a bunch of them growing, you just have a, like a million carrots. <laughs> Let's see. My main thing I'm looking for while running around in here, other than raspberry bushes or, or mushrooms, are the little abandoned structures. Because sometimes they have uh, beehives in them, and that's how you get more bees. Uh, we're gonna move the raspberries up here just so we can see how many we have. Ah, here we go. Here's a little house. We got a little runestone here, too. On this spot, a tree fell on my head and I cursed the gods. So I leave this stone in praise to, of them. They might forgive my reckless words. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd kind of yell, too. <laughs> Oh. Oh, this must have been like one of my like first night. Oh yeah, this is definitely must have been like one of my uh, first night kind of shelters because I was like, wait, why is there this in here? And the and the answer is because I've already I've been here previously. Fair is fair. In that case, what about this? Is there probably not going to be a B in this one? Unless I'm just bl fucking blind, deaf, and dumb, which... <laughs> the jury's not out on that one. <laughs> Alright, cool. I somehow just missed a bee right next to one of the... Ah, well, he got a little poison. It's fine. Bee poison's pretty tame, all things considered. Alright. Wow, you... Wow, you... Oh, me too. Ooh, an oak tree. Hello, big, beautiful oak tree. We're gonna cut you down right now because getting some oaks, oak, uh, some acorns would be awesome. Because <clears throat> if you can get some acorns and plant them, these give these oak trees give at minimum 50 wood, and a good and a good chunk of that would be a uh, fine wood, which is good. Up. Oh! No one cover me while I'm casting. Jeez. Yeah, I almost felt like that. I almost got ran over by the fucking log. Like. The logs can and will kill you in this game. <laughs> so 
we get any acorns? No, no acorns, that's fine. Bonk. <laughs> Consume. Yeah, our axe isn't very good against these. Like, these oak trees take a long time to cut with our bronze axe, but it is good enough to do so. What is this? Oh, I must run over a bush or something. <laughs> there it goes. Uh, let's kill the stump. Okay. You can just roll this tree stump around. I was trying to see if I could break this structure with the with the tree stump. Well, not the tree stump, like the log. Oh, I, I broke one of the supports. Perfect. I broke another. Was there like loot, some loot up here? Oh, there's the honey from the beehive that was hanging. I wanted to destroy this thing with just the log. I feel like that'd be pretty funny. Push you away a little bit and then just yoink! It's like a battering ram. I don't think this is damaging this log in like any way, which is fine. I can just break it myself. I just thought this would be amusing at least. Because this game has got some really cool systems in it. Like, like this, where like the logs have physics and cannon will just like kill your ass. <laughs> Boop. I mean, you can do this with like normal, uh, you can do this with like normal logs too from like the little like those trees, but these oak logs are 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 I don't know if it'd be tier one hardness or tier two hardness, but they are more durable than normal logs are. This thing's probably gonna collapse very soon and I'm gonna be very excited for it. I've been like using all my stamina just to like run back and forth rolling this log. Like I could have tore this structure down really quickly like on my own, but where's the fun in that? I've almost completely destroyed this thing with just a log. Honestly, it's probably gonna start. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> All right, that was it. Where's the rest? Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. That being said, you can like <laughs> the wood was just on top of the log, like like right like right in its papa's back. Like papa, give me a piggyback ride. Alright, that entire structure was destroyed by this log. No reason why, I just thought it'd be kind of funny. That being said, destroying structures like that is an easy way to get some fast uh, wood without the cut down trees. As you see, those oak 
Those oak trees give a lot of fucking stuff. Well, let's uh, mark this little house thing here on the map, actually, since it's kind of like a little camp. We'll mark it as a uh, camp. Don't need to fix it up, but I don't know. It's pr it's providing me shelter. Figure it's the least I can do. We'll do something like that to cover the rain. For the sake of no grass in the house, we'll do that. All this is superfluous. I don't need to be doing any of this, but you know, I'm just like, oh, hey, we can uh, make the make this little temporary camp house look nice, or at least be more livable. Oh, I was hoping we could put a, one of the deer rugs in. We could put in a nice little chair, though. Maybe this table too. Oh, that's a that's a that's that's a bench. This is a table. It'll add a little bit more comfort, which gives you more rested time to run around and do stuff. So. It's only like one less comfort than our house back at home, so works for me. It'll keep us running for a while. It's so easy just to get lost in this fucking game. There's almost always something you can just be doing. All right, so we've got that place saved up. Boss space. We can run over there and see if there's anything worth um, salvaging. Can't imagine. Can't imagine there's much because we probably just made it like a bed, and that's about it. <laughs> Hey, there was some raspberries there. We already picked those. I'm still just kind of running around looking for more bees. Because we have a clean bee here that we got from a beehive. We can use that to make our own beehive. I'm going to make my own beehive with blackjack and hookers. <laughs> Put up, put your, put up your dukes, Grayling. Put him right, punch him right in the grundle. <laughs> yeah, a, g a good portion of this area. Oh, I never actually like marked my um, 
base, but I think it's like kind of like over here somewhere. I never actually like put a little house marker down. Oh well, we'll find it again. Oh, there's some. Is this, oh, that is copper. That's not a half bad uh, spot for it either. So well, let's. I use these little Thor hammers to mark mining spots for copper usually. It looks kind of like a pickaxe. I mean, I know it's definitely not, but you know. Let's not go in the black forest right now. We don't need to. I'm looking for stuff in the meadows. I'll punch you too. Yeah, the, with our with our troll armor, we have these grayling these graylings these gray dwarves don't do nearly as much as they used to. Plus, blocking like this actually gets us block skill, which will make it, which helps be, us prepare for harder enemies that aren't gray dwarves. <laughs> Like, this game's not, like, super high poly count, but, like, there's something about it that's just pretty. I don't know. It's got a really good aesthetic. Uh, anything in here? There's a chest with some coins and some flint. Eh, guess that counts. I'm, just, I'm looking for structures like this, but mostly uh, ones that might have some sort of beehive in them. Usually the taller ones. Alright, there's some raspberries here at the very least, so we can uh, mark our bee. And then we'll pick some berries. Because they're used in some mead recipes, and they're also used for Queen's Jam, which is what we're more immediately going to be using them for. Raspberries. Yeah, I used to, when making these little markers, I used to write the whole word out, but that's such a waste of time when RB is pretty concise for raspberries anyway. Uh, any other berries in this little cluster? No, I mean, honestly, two is fine for me to mark because if I'm running around this area anyway, I'll, I'll definitely grab them as well. Who is, I mean, you're not why I came over here, deer, but, oh, there's another, there's another deer. Sir, there was a second deer at the World Trade Center. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I hate how much my stupid brain thinks of that fucking meme. <laughs> it's very colorful. Yeah, this game is very colorful. <laughs> uh, what's up? <laughs> uh, looking for bees. <laughs> I wonder how big this starter island is. Cause like this is like kind of like like the game has island. Oh, the elders like over there. Might not even be that far. We could probably if we really wanted to, we could probably push to try to kill the elder this stream. Don't really care to, cause there's still plenty of stuff to do other than that. Like get our farm, our homestead set up, and get carrots growing and etc 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 grabbing some berries looking for some houses to see if they have any bees in them
kind of just exploring the edges of this uh, meadows. Yeah, this is a pretty big meadows biome, so there's lots of these uh, berry bushes. All right, Grayling, put them up. Put them up. Imagine you're this little tree creature and this like freaking person just starts trying to just start punching the shit out of you. You're just you're just you're just vibing being your weird little tree self, and then this asshole just starts punching you in the fucking mouth. Oh, we got another oak here. We're gonna break this. If we get some acorns, that's gonna be a lot of wood we can take home with us in uh, acorn form. Oh, I need to eat. Get our stamina back up. Ah, no fucking acorns, just feathers and resin. That's annoying. That's okay, this will be a lot of wood. So much that we might have to actually, like, drop something to carry all of it, because... Yeah. That being said, I'll happily do so, because... Look at all that fine wood we're getting. That's the, that's the main reason you go after these oak trees, is they give you so much. Like, this half log here is going to get us from... Well, we'll just move it up here, whatever. It's from 24 to, like... Well, I think our weight ran out, so... Uh, shit. Well, I don't really care about the flint or the stone. I'm just going to pick all this up so I can see how much we got from all that. Yeah, that one, like, half of the log there gave us, like, 11 fine wood. It's, that's a little silly. Uh, we need, like, 12 of these to not exist anymore. Okay, fine. Maybe more than that. Uh, we'll drop eight more. That way we can pick up stuff like deer hides and whatever while we're running around. Because we have, we do have the weight score we have to be mindful of. Which, frankly, that's probably enough reason for me to go home and come back with an empty inventory, but... Nah. Keep marking raspberries. Yeah, whatever. Ooh, there's even more right here. I, I hurt... I hurt you. Come here, you little... Goober. I don't know if like there's any real point of getting your fists damage up, but it, it's it's funny. Maybe that's just maybe that's enough reason. Like I don't know if your fists damage goes up with. I'm, I'm sure it does. But it's mostly just so you can kill shit without having weapons. Or if you don't want to waste durability on weapons. Like, I don't want to waste durability on my axe because I need that to cut trees. Oh, wow. <laughs> we've, we, we've picked over 50 raspberries on this little adventure so far. Super worth our time because we can use these raspberries for um, lots of recipes going forward. More immediately, more we'll, we can make more of the uh, what you call them. We can make more of the uh, queen's jam. We have to go get more blueberries though, which we'll probably have to do anyway. Ooh, what do we have here? Give thanks to Frey for the rain and sun, for the shoots that break the earth's skin, and fruits of the vine. Give thanks to Odin for the flesh and bone, the smoke from the cooking fire, the warm pelt, and the strength of your arm. Thanks, Odin! <laughs> it's like, thanks, Obama. I'm mostly just curious to see how far this island stretches out. Because that's, like, technically a separate island over there. Really big one, too. 
Because on my offline file I'm playing right now, my Star Island extends really far and it has like three different biomes on it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's like, wow. Don't know if I've ever had that big of a starter island. Ooh, there's another little house. Another grayling to fucking bully. Some more raspberries. Fight me! It's like, mm, I don't know. Seem a little unhinged. Oh, god damn it. I'll, I'll punch you too. <laughs> Smack that boar right in the ass. Come at me. Just punching the wild, punching the wildlife. I don't even want to kill this boar, but it kind of aggroed on me, so otherwise it's just gonna chase me forever. Otherwise, so I might as well just kill it. More raspberry. RB. Yeah, the reason I want to find more bees is. When you make mead, you need honey, and every beehive that you have at your house can hold up to uh, four honey over time. So the more bee the more beehives you have, just the more honey you can get just over time, and that's important because mead uses quite a bit of honey, as you may expect. You don't feel rested anymore. Ah, oh, Philly. I know I saw a little hut over here. Let's go investi um, investigate. Well, we're gonna have to swim anyway, so let's. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Look at you, River. You got me all wet. All right. Let's see what this little hut has. Oh, I, I can already see the beehive. That's fucking awesome. That me. I'll get us up. Means we're up to four. That's pretty good. Ooh, this one, this this little POI also might have a beehive. Nah, unfortunately not. Uh, sometimes there's one of these little lean-to thingies that has a beehive underneath it. Not this time though. That's okay. Honestly, four is probably enough. Five is like super ideal though, because then if you have five, every time you harvest all the full uh, beehives you get 20 honey which is a good amount <laughs> just <laughs> bullying gray dwarves uh, oh there's ooh there's a oh that was a grayling but gray that's a it's one star all right let's fucking fight come on Come on, Mr. One Star. Uh, I, ra I, ran I ran out of stamina from blocking. Boop. Right in the mouth. Oh, you had to call on a friend. It's Grey Dwarf on the top rope.
no real reason to do what I was doing. But it's kind of funny, and it might be useful to have higher fist damage, I guess. That's a very small black forest portion. It's like literally like this little end nub of the island, it looks like. Oh, whatever. I'll, f I'll punch you too. Yeah, you better run, you little stinky lizard. I would like the neck tail. Let's drop that. Oh, I guess this just turns into a black forest. Well, we're probably not gonna come out this far for fucking copper, but it's actually it actually it's like right next to the coast. So if we had a boat, we could well had a boat. We can make a boat like pretty soon, like an actual good boat. Oh. There, there may or may not be a skeleton nearby. Like that whistling noise, I think, is when, like, something spawns. It's either when something spawns or when something gets hit whenever the attacker is in stealth. It's more likely out in, just out in the, the bush, the, out in the thicket, it's more likely going to be, um something spawning from like a spawner or just spawning in general I think it's kind of weird oh I got some more raspberries <clears throat> let's head up to top, the top of this hill we might be able to see some well, that's a nice view unfortunately not really any structures in sight but that is a gore as a gongus view Ooh, a lot of raspberries here. Yeah, we're not gonna have to come get raspberries for a while. <laughs> and honestly, at this point, I'm gonna just toss this extra 22 wood here. And we're gonna just make sure we have plenty of space for stuff like deer hide and raspberries and the like. It's kind of why we came out here. Uh, I know there's a gray dwarf chasing me. Come here. Stop running. Technically, you can you can fight with your fists with a shield too. It's probably better actually to do it that way. That way you have higher block power. Cause you're still technically unarmed, but you know you got a shield. Which is a bit, bit better at blocking than just your your meat, meaty little fists or whatever. Uh, let's eat you, eat you. The thing that makes us go home first might end up actually just being our food situation. Because, yeah. <clears throat> we didn't have that many uh, blueberries, so we kind of make that... We're going to make a, a bunch of, um, yeah, we, we couldn't, we couldn't make a bunch of the Queen's Jam. I was wondering if this was a structure. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Nice point four damage, loser. Sounds like the sounds like ten thousand great ores just spawned behind me. <clears throat> Ooh, possibly a brute too. Um, yeah, there's almost certainly a brute. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there's no bee in here, so I don't really care. We're just gonna leave them to their own device. They'll probably still chase me anyway, because they tend to just kind of do that. Well, 
Well, let's, uh, we're just gonna make our way back, uh, home, or at least to that camp. <laughs> It's a little it's a little dark out uh, we only got these two chasing us so it's not, not really that threatening throwing rocks that's kind of like the extent of what they can really do like radar is only really dangerous when they're like when there's like a swarm of them and you don't have like any armor just murdered this little lizard for his tail. Oh god, this is a certainly a hillside. Kind of under the double whammy of ineffectiveness by um, a, actually kind of triple whammy. It's a steep hill. It's cold and we're wet, so our stamina regen is like just bad, like really bad. Just need to get to the top of this hill. Whew. This is a massive meadow. Like, a huge meadow. Alright, you're, you're annoying me now. Come here. No, oh, whatever. I, I changed my mind. The rocks don't really do much anyway. Kind of want to look out for more of those little, like, structures. Oh, there's one, I think. Kind of hard to tell from a distance, but yeah, it looks like it's a little structure. Any bees for me? No. This, this POI can't have bees, though. So that's why I was like, ooh. I think they got bored and left me alone. Oh, this is a boar stone. Well. I don't need them. Because I already we have those two star boars at home that are probably grown by now. Oh yeah, almost certainly. Cause I don't think boars need a um need you to be nearby for them to actually like grow <clears throat> if I was smarter I'd be destroying these little like structures as I pass by them if they don't have bees so I don't like recheck them every like five seconds there's some raspberries here but I never said I was very smart mostly just impatient I have a few more raspberries here than I expected. I only really kind of like, like perceived like four, it's like two bushes, but there's like four there, so that's not bad. We we take those odds, or I guess maybe not. It's not, probably not the right thing to say, but it's fine. All right, and we can go. Over yonder. Yes, yeah, boar jerky is an, an awesome early food. One honey and one boar meat makes two jerky and gives 23 to each stat, so it's pretty hard to beat. It's almost as good as, like, boar meat by itself, but it's just better because you get more stamina. All right. Now sleep, get rid of the nighttime, and we're going to head home, offload stuff, and probably going to need to go get blueberries because we're almost out of... Uh, Queen's Jam. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know exactly where my house was, but I'm pretty sure if we head south, we'll find it. Bet you come here, you little stinker. Oh. 
More raspberry. At least one, I think. Uh, there's technically more than one bush, I think. It's just very... very they're kind of like on top of each other. I mean, I know yesterday was Valentine's Day, but geez, get a room. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll grab the feathers. And honestly, probably the flint arrowheads, too. Those are just kind of nice to have. Uh, let's throw away these great great off eyes, because we're, we're, there's like no shortage of those damn things anyway, so... I guess for now we'll carry him again. I mean, you can, we can, the most, the most immediate thing we'll be using Grado Fies for would be portals, but you tend to have way too many Grado Fies. Because every single Grado you kill gives at least one eye. And as you can see, if you're anywhere close to that biome, there's like, it just like, it's like a fountain of Grey Dwarves. This is a little outhouse kind of deal. Mushroom! Oh, there's only one. I'll mark it anyway. With MSH, MSH, M -M Okay, now we're getting rid of the Great Fires because I, I want mushrooms. Instead. I haven't really seen too many mushrooms. They're, they're a little harder to spot than the, uh... A little harder to spot than the, the raspberry bushes. Honestly, I just haven't really seen that many. Sometimes they're really obvious, but sometimes they're just hidden in the thicket. Speaking of thicket, come here, bitch. Alright, more raspberries. Ugh. Well, next time we need raspberries, we're gonna have a whole lot of bushes to choose from. I'm gonna assume like somewhere around here is where my base is because there's just stuff marked around it <laughs> is this something that could get us jumping XP by jumping around like this <laughs> I'd want to say yes, but yeah, I kind of want to want to get back and offload this stuff and fix our uh, gear and probably go get blueberries now. Ooh, there's an oak tree. I might mark this oak tree. Since I don't have the inventory space right now for the wood from it, I'm going to mark it instead. Oak tree. Oh, I think what we might have ran like with, with the foggy shittiness, we might have ran past where our base is. Because I know it's somewhere in like this area. It's a matter of where actually is it. <laughs> Cause I was a fool and didn't mark it on the map. Oh, okay. I think we found it. Yeah, we found it. <laughs> got a we got a whole bunch of stuff. On, let's see how are the piggies. Oh, they're all grown. Perfect. And our beehives are all full of honey too. 
we'll empty these and we'll probably break these too while after we drop off some of the heavier stuff and then we'll put down all the beehives okay and we've got we have enough fine wood there for either two portals or for the carve which is the, uh, sh the next uh, ship that you can make you can make a, sh a kind of a shitty raft initially but as you may suspect it's a little it's a little shit so I don't really feel like it's super worth your time making that raft however the carve is plenty good it'll, it'll definitely get the job done it even has storage space alright we have like a metric fuck ton of raspberries now <laughs> which was one of the goals of going out to well get raspberries a little bit of coins did I use up all my deer hides or are they just somewhere weird? Huh, I guess we used up all of our deer hides. Well, it's a good thing I was just kind of killing deer because we're going to need more deer hides for, uh... We're going to need more deer hides eventually for making some of our, um structures and stuff like the carve for example that that is gonna need oh looks like our our carrots are done too they can plants do not need you to be nearby for them to grow either which is nice so you can like plant a bunch of crops and then go do stuff and then when you come back they'll all be nice and happy and waiting for you so let's go get our little cultivator which I think is was it this one no, is this one it's this one okay got a cultivator and while we're at I'll probably just plant this tree as well because it'll be more fine wood not as much as the oak trees but hey take what you we take what we can get all right okay let's cultivate I'm just going to cultivate the rest of this ground in here. All right. And then the new secret tech that I like to do, well, that I like to do for growing stuff that I started doing recently is you pick a spot that you know where the thing first one will grow and then you uh you just kind of plant plant them in a row like that. It might not be super space efficient, but it, it's very fast for planting as opposed to planting to get every specific like bit. I mean, it's almost like kind of that length anyway, but yeah, it's very fast planting like that. And then these will grow into not carrots and they can turn those into seeds too. And then, uh, yeah. You, you basically every time you do this cycle you you multiply your carrots by like your amount of carrot seeds by three unless you use some carrots but all right well we got we got like three two star boars it looks like which means I kind of want to kill off um, I kind of want to kill off the uh, one stars. It's a little, it's a little mean, but yeah, you kind of have to. I think we got him. Oh shit! Well, all right, that was very sketchy the way I was doing that, but. We have isolated two of the two star boars, and now we can breed them and get have only two stars. Something I'm gonna fucking do though. Um. I really want these boars to be a little safer, because if we get raided by like the gray dwarf raid. The, in particular, those poison enemies have killed off more my my boars than like anything else in this fucking world. 
And I want to make sure those are not going to be a problem. So we're going to have to get some more. We got some wood here. I want to make some. Make it a little bit of a shelter. Like a walled, a walled in area, I guess, rather. Just for the boars. Because they are more important than most of the other things around here, so. I could have picked a better place to put these boars, but, you know, whatever. Let's start let's start building do we'll do this that we have I'd want to say that's long enough to keep the boars from getting affected by the poison but honestly I might try to go for a, a like yeah I'll probably go three out that's almost certainly enough and our boars will have a nice little safety zone and we'll just kind of work on that while we breed more boars so let's go get like two ras wait we're gonna use raspberries for this because we have a lot of raspberries but we need to get our two boars breeding some more and to breed boars need to have a nearby mate and they need to be happy which means they need to be fed, which is fine. Well, I don't even. That's a guy. I heard. I heard. A, I heard a creature. I'm not willing to let just a random gray dwarf walk in behind me and just start killing my boars. That would, I would be distraught. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah, you just throw these in there, throw the food in there, and then just leave them alone. They'll eat it eventually and they'll start just making boars they, they they waste no time in doing so they're very they're very good at what they do <laughs> we're just gonna kind of terraform the land a little bit Uh, we're gonna switch these around because, like, I'm, I'm all on a bit, a bit. <laughs> on all of my other files. I usually have the hammer on four, so it's kind of force of habit to press four when I'm trying to need to build stuff. Like, as much as I want to go get the blueberries for more Queen's Jam, this is a little more important to me: is getting this set up so that the boars don't have to. I don't have to worry about the boars getting murderized by the green guys because those green guys are their point their poison attack can go through walls and can and will just kill boars very easily because boars just don't have a lot of HP This could be a problem. I just realized the I just realized that the problem this could be. Only solution to that would be to like make this like inaccessible to them, but we're probably just gonna destroy that, and then we can make a gate here.
Like it looks silly how it's like currently just like floating in the mid in mid air, but we'll, we'll fix that. Oh yeah, we probably should make another workbench for this area. Fine by me. And eventually, when when this when this boar pin is uh has we once we have some some another batch of like boards, we'll probably separate a, separate a few, and then we'll start working. Think we'll start thinking towards making the boar infinite boar breeder, because yeah, it's it's nice having that it's it's a little horrifying just like hearing baby boars be born very like every minute or so but like <laughs> that's that's, that's kind of what happens oh my my stamina is like really low because of uh yeah i forgot to eat <laughs> Oh, oh god. Oh no. Oh, there it goes. Jesus Christ. Oh, we're getting, we're definitely getting, oh, oh come on, go away. Yeah, we still got quite a bit of copper to get from our deposit from our deposit here. And we still do have boars in here. Like I think we have at least like two. Might not be the boars I need to breed them up as well. Just in in the event something horrible happens and we end up with zero boars. That would be uh, not fun. But sometimes not fun things happen. Okay, I'll, I'll spawn proof this area as well. Where did you come from? How did you... Sometimes they, um... Get... Sometimes they get squeezed out between... Out through walls. <laughs> Although that's actually that's honestly perfect because we can have this bore off in its own little area and separate it off for um, excuse me can you snap on please huh Let's move you out of the way so I don't like kill you with my pickaxe, cause Hmm. Ah. Okay, no, 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 no. That's not that's not the correct way, little piggy. That's not the correct way. Yeah, these piggies will will um Waste a lot of your time if given the chance. Blocked. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna go there. And you're gonna stay in there. And honestly, I might try to get this little piggy out on its own as well. And get it in here. That way we could have... Um, Separate piggies. <laughs> it's kind of dark, so let's actually sleep. And hopefully we don't get a surprise raid, lol, Lameo. It's getting hard for me to see. I can imagine it's not much easier for y'all to see either. <laughs>
Alright. Mostly just want to get that piggy out and away. It's not going very far, very fast, so I should be able to track it down. Yeah, it, it didn't go very far. <laughs> Come on, get out of the cubby hole. All right, and then we use this little ramp to push it up and over the. Uh, cup, cup. Come on, get get on the ramp, please. Why why are you like this? Why are you like this? I think it's because, like, the, um, these walls have, like, actual, like, weird little hitbox things on them. Damn it. I think ground's also just weird. Come on. Oh, oh, no! You little bastard. <laughs> this little piggy's determined to go somewhere. not where I want it to go. I just want you to be in here with your friend. Forever and ever and ever. There you go. Now you're stuck. Probably not ideal that I put them right next to the, the, the wall right there. Like how I was saying, like they shoot poison through the walls. Or can. Yeah, that's probably not my greatest uh, achievement, but... Matter of fact, it might be better. It might be best if I just move these like in there eventually. But for now, we're gonna continue our uh, steak wall adventures. Again. <laughs> oh, there's some some tree up there I didn't finish cutting. Cause I am irresponsible. And just kinda left all this stuff up here. <laughs> another 25 wood let's break this too uh, 38 that might be enough to finish the the little surrounding wall but it might not be we'll find out I guess I'm not like doing any like tangible math or anything for any of this I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants it's how I kind of do a lot of things
All right. So we'll raise up. Oh, I'm out of stone. Oh, no. It'd be a shame if I had, like, a, a chest almost full of stone. Oh, man, I need to fix my... My two things made of metal. Then we'll fix the rest of the stuff over here. Okay. Let's go to our chest here. We'll grab just 50 stone. And we'll continue working on this. See if we have enough stuff put down to make this wall just oh we're out of wood again jesus christ well i mean we are building exclusively out of wood right now so we, we tend to go through it uh let's see we're just gonna have to start cutting down some trees our stamina recover a little bit and we will chop there's a fucking troll over there you know we ha we've had a we've, we've it's not been very exciting so far to stream so let's uh Right in the top of his stinky head. Oh, here he comes. Maybe, maybe he can help us cut some trees down. Ah, uh, not quite. These damn gray dwarves are in the way too. I'm trying to get him to swing so I can just fight the gray dwarves. Cause they're just a. They're annoying. They're in the way. They can very easily cause me to get killed because they're just like behind me, in front of me, and just everywhere, you know? I'm not trying to fight this, this troll with the axe. That'd be a little silly. I'm trying to kill this Grayling because it's it is going to get in my way and get me killed if I don't just off it. <clears throat> yeah, shooting trolls in the head is does a bit fair bit more damage than just shooting them like the arms or whatever usually. And the more damage your initial hit does, the more fire damage your your fire arrows do, I think. So, shooting them in the head is just a very smart idea, if possible, because the damage over time will just speed more, too. Ah, eh, whatever. It might just be dead now. Okay, now we go. <laughs> Chop! Right in, right in the Achilles tendon. It's like, oh, that's not fucking cool. Get a bit of a treasure and some... The real treasure is probably the troll hides. I don't know if we have any more troll hides. But I think the little the cape needs uh, 
ten. So you have to kill these two trolls to get um, the cape in addition to the other stuff. I should really set up some uh, I should really set up some uh, more workbenches around my base because these great orbs are getting on my nerves. <laughs> like I was about to go drop off my stuff. <clears throat> After I get this uh, fence thing done, we're going to be going to uh, into the Black Forest and trying to find blueberries. That should be enough. I'm so glad this game has like fucking has these fucking snap point system cuz like building stuff in games like like this without stuff like that is fucking impossible. <laughs> like you try to build like a nice house without snap points and yeah, fat fucking chance. Hello Ash. How are you? Hopefully you're doing well today. Oh. We're, we're, we're working more on the farm, the, the, the homestead here. We got some more piggies we're breeding up. Probably need to get these a little farther away, but they're currently safe. Yay, work! Well, maybe not yay work, but yeah. See, I didn't mean to make it go down that far, I don't think, at least. Eh, well. Wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. I can never feel re <laughs> I can never feel rested. <laughs> you don't feel rested anymore. Ever. Slid. Hmm. 
We got some more, some more cat. We got some more kakarots growing in here. some stuff away okay. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> rude <laughs> uh, we're gonna put these uh, <laughs> gonna put these other beehives down <laughs> I would have liked to have found uh, more. Like, I would have liked to have found a total of five beehives, but... Yeah, we only had, we only found four bees. Uh, the bees are happy. At least, at least one of us is. <laughs> Come here, fucker. You're in my house. Just bare knuckle boxing. I've already been jump scared by it <laughs> today. It's not gonna happen again. At least not right now. <laughs> Rude. God, I've got so much resin. <laughs> Sunglasses. Nobody expects Gabba the two. Nobody expects the, the Spanish Gabba. Alright. So that's where I have all my... Uh... Oh, this is the chest for cooked, for like cooked or ready meal. Bring back Void Cat. I probably could. I think I have a. I, I think I, this is an emote I had at some point. Let's do the honk shoe, honk shoe. Drink some coffee too. Coffee's cold at this point, but that's fine. I make it taste like not complete ass so I can just kind of drink it whenever the time comes what? I don't see one spot where I've marked blueberries which is kind of annoying I don't know if that spot actually has blueberries or not well, like I don't know if they've respawned yet so I guess we'll go see. Like I really need to uh oh. I don't see where those blueberries are supposed to be, so maybe uh maybe they got destroyed somehow. No, they're here, I'm just a little old dumb. There's only three though, which means I've either picked this patch like twice in like ten hours, or there's another patch of blueberries around here that uh definitely uh, needs to get marked. All right, well, 
We're gonna roam around this black forest strip near my base and see if we can find more blueberries. Cause then we need them for food. I also keep seeing trolls over here. It's kind of annoying. Thankfully I'm seeing the trolls before they see me. Twitch would improve my height. Aw. Rude. Still. It's probably a really good emote. Well, there's a deer. I probably should kill that one if I can. If I can aim. Ooh. Sorry, bud. Pow, right in the kisser. Because those two star deer... This one star deer drops, uh... Double the stuff. Which is like four deer hide, which we need deer we're gonna need deer hide for making the ship. It's not quite a long boat. It's like a medium boat. <laughs> oh, there's a few of you, huh? Alright. Let 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 us introduce ourselves. The little gray dwarves are annoying. The big ones can be dangerous if you don't have good stuff or don't know how to parry. Those brutes are also the thing that t that drops the uh, ancient seeds sometimes, which is the summon item for the Black Forest boss. Oh, we just oh that's why there's so many so many gray doors spawn because this is it they spawn at this like POI here. We'll break this stool because it'll get us some fine wood. Grab this stuff from here. Cool. And we already know the location for the elder. We found it earlier in one of the crypts, I believe. Looking for more bloobs. Looking for the bloobies. <laughs> Some big saggy bloobies. Where you at? Oh, here's a blueberry bush. I mean, that's enough to make us some more um, Queen's Jam, but that's a very underwhelming amount of blueberries on this side of the river. Which means we're going to have to uh, go on the other side of the river and find some. Before that, though, we're gonna go back and use these blueberries we already have to make some Queen's Jams. Because the stamina we get from that is good. Oh, I got distracted, but yeah, there's some thistles here. We are at. Oh, there's a troll, too! Okay! Can path around again. This is like Looney Tunes level bullshit. Like going in, like going in the door, and then like coming out of a different door. Troll's like, ah, oh, fuck! Bullshit! <laughs> I 
I'll just lead it back towards my base anyway, because I gotta go back to my base anyway. Alright, it's probably gonna die. Yep, there it goes. No, oh, no! <laughs> there you go! <laughs> uh, dumpy in the river! <laughs> Oh god damn it, are the troll highs too deep in the river for for me to get? I mean I have an idea. I gotta kill this fucking gray dwarf first though. Cause what you can do is you can um jump and like you're Height will determine how far you dip down in the water. So we're gonna try to jump in and grab all the grab the stuff bit by bit. Or I could probably just like I don't know, raise the ground. It's probably a smarter way to do it. Just need to be able to place this thing. Okay, six, let's raise the ground. If, I, if, if this wasn't the troll hides I needed to um, make the, uh, the cloak, I would probably not bother, but... Okay, there's just one more there. Did we get... Oh, we got it. Okay. <laughs> God. As funny as it was watching the troll tumble downhill into the river, it was a pain in the ass getting the loot from it. But that's fine. Now we can make the cloak, and then that'll give us the set effect of sneaky, which gives us 15 extra sneak, which makes it a little easier to kind of, well, sneak around. <laughs> Alright, these, oh, I already have this thistle marked. Well, we're going to grab it. Frankly, surprised that we hadn't grabbed a fist thistle yet. Yeah, thistles, regardless of how many are in a cluster of them, I always mark them because they're very valuable. They're used for, as you saw, just a poison resistance mead. But also, um, later on, you can use them to make different foods and stuff, so it's just nice to have them. Let's grab some raspberries. And we'll make Queen's Jam. Alright. Let's put some stuff away. Those I will make our cape. Should be. I think that's the recipe. Yeah. You can make, you can make like a deer hide cape, which is fine. It's like you know armor, but you get a set effect with the troll hide cape, so I feel like it's just better. Cape. Okay. Oh, well, I just realized we still have leather pants. <laughs> Whoops. Well, the next troll we kill will turn those. We'll turn them into pants. <laughs> Those away. Store that, store that. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need some more chests because the stone is quickly taking over <laughs> my chest space. Carol, right? 
stuff. Nice and fixed up. Let's check in on our, our stuff. Let's check in on the carrots and we'll check on the boars. Carrots are still growing, that's fine. They'll just kind of, they'll, they'll kind of grow no matter where we are, which is nice. Well, at least one of you is grown up. Okay, all three of them are grown. So we got five two-star boars now, which is nice. We don't, we don't have nearly enough wood for the thing I would want to build anyway. The breeder thing. So I think we're going to go try to cross the river to get some more uh, blueberries and mark more stuff. And probably kill another troll or two because they're, they're probably over there. Angle makes it a little hard to hit these gray dwarves. Hmm. It could also make a cool little bridge. Oh, there's a fish in there. Nice. It's kind of swimming like on its side. This one's kind of floating above the water. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm supposed to be in the water. And then it's like, you <laughs> Fish. <laughs> uh, let's, you know, let's actually chop down one of these uh, pine trees to get some fine wood. Not fine wood, core wood. And then we can use some of that core wood to make a, uh, start making a little bridge like down here across the river. I feel like that'd be smart. Stop this from rolling down the hill. Are you? S where in the hell do you come from? You know what? It's fine. I, I, I gotta say, we're gonna probably find another troll anyway, huh? Shoot him in the fucking noggin. No, don't don't go at my don't go towards my base. He's think he's really thinking about it. Hey, asshole. I'm the grumpy old troll who lives under the bridge. About to be the grumpy old troll that gives me a pair, new pair of pants. Where is this troll going? What are you doing? Are you even not even aggroed on me anymore? I don't. I don't even know. Oh, I think I have your attention now. <laughs> That came pretty close. Oh! Oh, there's so many boars! They all just ran away! Or you are gonna get me killed. Oh Jesus! This troll is like just destroying the forest. Just stands the fuck up. Fuck you, Grey Dwarf, you piece of shit. Come here. Let's 
Screw you too! <laughs> Damn, just getting freaking jump scared by trolls. That being said, he did cut down a lot of trees. That I can finish cutting down to get a bunch of wood for very little effort. So for that, I thank you, Mr. Troll. For your hard work. A bit more fine wood. Oh, I was like, uh oh, is something happening? Technically, no. Alright. Choppity chop, choppity chop. I'll just kind of cut the trees down that the, the troll um, evicted from the forest. What are you doing? Bad. Bad lizard. Oh. Hello. What are you doing here? That must mean there's something nearby that you spawn from. Yes. Skeletons don't just sp usually spawn out in the world in this biome, so there's almost certainly like a, uh, a crypt somewhere nearby, or like a POI crypt thingy. Like not one of the ones you can go into, but like one of the little like standing dolmen kind of stone things. Kind of hard to really describe. Well, I did say we didn't have a lot of wood for the thing I was thinking of making, but, well, we got some now, because that troll decided it was going to chase us through this forest and knock down a few trees. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the rested buff and we're wet because it's raining, so our stamina is regenerating. Regenerating? <laughs> Regenerating. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, our our stamina is regenerating a little slow. We're just gonna pick up everything and we'll slowly just kind of walk our way back to base. As you're walking, I like guess your stamina like drops until you can't move anymore. Oh jeez, there's even more. So what you do is when your stamina reaches zero, you just throw away something and then you let your stamina recover. I mean, you could also just, like, I'm gonna run around and grab, like, all these seeds and stuff. Uh, our stamina is all, is down. Let's sit here and let it recover. Bit. We'll grab this stuff too. Now it's cold, so we definitely don't want to be doing stamina stuff because cold also reduces stamina. Read like you can see, it's like like slowed to a crawl. So yeah, we want to uh, get back home like now. And knowing my luck, we're gonna run into like ten gray dwarves on the way there, or this fucking log in the way. Everything is in the way.
Alright. Good Meowny! How are you doing, Haleen? Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Very much. One of my best friends. I'm glad you're doing better. Yay! Opening your eyes is good. Most of the time. <laughs> uh, we're playing some Valheim today, which is like kind of like a survival game, but with like in Viking lands. I don't know if whatever command that is is a thing, Ash, because I'm very I'm bad at the, I'm bad at life, or I'm I'm bad streamer. Yeah, we got this little house here. It's dark. Oh, it's very it's very good. I've been extremely I've been very addicted to it lately. Like immensely. <laughs> Off of this stuff and we can go grab this other wood. Ah, okay. Oh, oh great, we get a raid. Well, where, where, where are y'all coming from? Here, here come all the fucking gray dwarves. I need you to not be doing that, Graylings. The forest is moving. Oh, there's one of those poison dudes. Oh, uh, these poison dudes are the worst. I don't care. Die. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oh, boy. My favorite. Perish. Oh, yeah. I remember I played it. I played um, Valheim a lot, like, when it first came out, and then I stopped for a while because, like, I got stuck, kind of just because I was playing by myself and didn't really know exactly what to do. Alright, we're at, our stamina is a little low. This poison dude is being a pain in the ass. Shooting his little fart clouds at me. Come back here, fart magician. <laughs> the forest is still moving. God, how much forest needs to move? Okay, the forest is... I guess that the forest is done with its bullshit. Oh, no, stuck in a crack. The raid's over. Go home. <laughs> Alright, how are my, my lovely little friends here? My two star boars, they're fine. Good. Good. They're fine. I, I built this palisade wall thing specifically for raid. Against raids, because... Damn poison dudes have killed more of my tamed boars than I would care to admit. I was wondering when the next raid was going to happen. It'd been a minute. Thankfully, we suffered no casualties. I didn't die. We didn't have any boars die. Can't really complain too bad about that. I do still hear some some jerk just clawing away at something. And it's probably the poison dude because they... <clears throat> What are you doing? P 
perish. We've got this nice, nice little cabin near the Black Forest, which I probably should have built it a little further away, but, you know, whatever, YOLO. <laughs> <clears throat> My favorite part of this house so far is this little step down area where the fire and the bed is. I'm quite a fan of that. Uh, coffee, coffee, coffee. Bean drinking beans. Mmm. Eat some more of our, our scrumptious foods. Fix our shit, cause that axe took a beating. Like right before this. No headache means coffee. Yes. <laughs> coffee dance. Coffee dance. Coffee dance. <laughs> yeah, but like right before we had this raid happen, we we were chased by a troll through the forest, and it was just swinging its log everywhere, being a real slut. Me too. <laughs> Uh, let's put some shit away. We just got a bunch of junk. <laughs> I was going to say that was me. <laughs> I mean, if you want to be, you can be. No slut shaming here. Sex work is real work, you know? We're all about that life. Sex work is like the oldest profession in the fucking world. It was me, the asexual s <laughs> for <laughs> for Belial Grand Blue Fantasy and other deplorable fictional man. Like Jade Cur Jade sl Jade Pussy McGee Curtis. <laughs> Jade Pac-Man Belt Curtis. I can't believe I, like, I was like, wait, is that a fucking Pac-Man belt? Namco, you motherfuckers. <laughs> like, such a good design. Like, chef's kiss. Mwah, 10 out of 10. Alright, I think we got some some of that troll hide. We could probably upgrade. Oh, we need to make a I think we need to make troll pants. Yeah. We still we're still wearing leather pants from the the deer fight. Jade Pac-Man Pussy Curtis. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. Okay, it's pants. Troll pants. Okay, I need more chests, because my, 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 my chest situation is a little untenable right now. So, where's our wood? We've got, oh, we got some wood. We can make some more chests. Uh, okay, and then we'll just kind of, we'll slam dunk it in there. Okay, I almost always have like a, a junk chest for like all like all of this goddamn resin I get from all these little all those creatures like all the tree people they drop so much of this resin I kill so many of them all right I guess this chest is gonna be for wood I already have a chest for rocks cuz you just way too many of those damn things Ah, before I get interrupted by gray dwarves and raids and trolls, I was going to build a little bridge across this little river down down here. Little stuff. Let's fix up our stuff here. Let's check on the Kakarots. They might be done. They might not be. Well, that one's just practically sticking out of the ground. Okay, I think they're done, so we can replant them for seeds now. Cool. 
cool. Let's go grab our little little, far, little farming tool, the little, little little farming fork. Uh, it's this guy. This guy. Seven seed carrot. Let's pick a nice location to start and. Okay, and then we'll pick another row, and we'll start there. All right, we don't have that many carrots yet, but whatever this not mount here, I think it's like I can't count because you know, gay. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. We're gonna be tripling that with these seed carrots at least, so then we'll start actually being able to use carrots for stuff once we grow that. But it's slow going initially, but. Oh, I got some honey growing. growing. I mean, I guess technically it's growing, but honey is not exactly the thing I'd say. Oh, we're growing honey. Um, oh, yeah. We're cutting this, and then the troll showed up. It's like, hello, I, I subscribed to play game with you. <laughs> Chop down, kill all these little tree dudes. There's so many of them. It's like my least favorite thing of living near this place. There's like 10, 10 million gray dwarves. Alright. There's a little fish there. I'm here for the puss. You would be. It's pretty gay. Alright. <laughs> Let's... Do, we, do I build these level of poles? I might. No, you. True. I don't have a rebuttal for that. Uh, <laughs> oh, hello, berry bush. Did I miss this berry bush? I don't know. It's only one. Perhaps I should start with, with building these instead. <clears throat> it's gonna make a little bridge. Across the river. <clears throat> uh. Granted, we had to swim across the river, but eventually I'm gonna get bored of that. And... Okay. Oh, I, got I got stuck under the bridge. Help. I need an adult. <laughs> Fish. That's not how swimming works. It's like swimming on the on solid earth or trying to. There you go. You figured it out. Proud of you. <laughs> oh, fucking. Fucking fish. hard to reach the snap points for these boards without doing weird meandery bullshit this way. That one's probably gonna... Oh, it's just not fucked up enough. Okay. Oh, I think we're too far away. Wonderful. I love being too far away. Yeah, building these rivers like this is usually a pain in the ass. Um...
Plus the refraction of the water doesn't doesn't help my poor stinky brain. Okay, that didn't fucking do anything. <laughs> it like snapped inside of the other pole. I'm just like. I might have gotten it right. I probably got it right now. It's it's tricky building with the water refraction and having bad depth perception and just uh, the cards are stacked against me <laughs> a little bit. But you know what? I I try to make do. All right, we'll move this here so we can build the rest of the bridge. Kind of like that so we can reach our snap points. How's this one already like yellow? I was so close. I was just kind of guesstimating where this had where the pole had to be. Close again. <laughs> I think I got it right that time. But it's not perfect, so we'll have to fix it. It's close, but not quite. Like these two because they're kind of in the way there we go that should be the proper snap point for it oh it's not quite the right one building in water like this is frustrating but I, I kind of want to do it that's not the right one either <laughs> how'd I mess how'd I mess that one up Try us again. It's a little annoying. It'd probably be faster for me just to flatten the ground. But I'm I'm committed to the bit. That looks like it might actually be the right one. I think I finally got it. <laughs> it's hard to tell, but I think I got it. I'm breaking the correct one. Yeah, that's that's. I got the correct one. Thank fuck. Okay, now I can build more of this. Get out of the damn river, please, please and thank you. All this just so I don't have to swim across the river. Should I should have been lazier? At least that one's a nice, just complete snap on. Come 
okay, and then we can connect that. And that is now the bridge. Yay, bridge. Now I just gotta run up, run up the hill next time I wanna do stuff. I don't feel rested anymore. Have I ever felt rested in my life? Uh, <laughs> never. Never, ever, ever. If I do this, I can like dig a, I can dig like a path up the hill. <laughs> it gets a bunch of stone too, which isn't really not the worst. Honestly, as long as I can like walk up the hill pretty easily, I don't really care. Does not doesn't have to be perfect, just usable. Although I suppose it'd be easier if I just built like a little like stair, some stairs or something. Yeah, I'll just I'll just be a little smarter than normal it's like I know it could I know the placement of you was available somewhere all right um... really really game you're gonna make it to where I can't like walk up my own stairs I just placed rude fucking rude Wee! <laughs> little bush is like, wee! Like, this is completely unnecessary, but... I mean... Video games themselves are completely unnecessary, so... I might, You might as well have fun doing whatever you're doing. For me right now, it's making a, a completely unnecessary staircase. <laughs> Up the side of our, our hill. And I'll probably forget to use it too. Like that's the worst part. I'll probably just forget to use this staircase like ever. Unless, maybe I should go this way now. Mm, actually, nah. If I do that, I won't be able to like take a cart up and down it. Although maybe I shouldn't be doing that anyway. Oh no, I'm just going. If I do, if I do, if I, if I do do, <laughs> if I, if I make stairs like this, I can be able to, I could drag a cart up and down them at least. Which does, which gives this little thing I'm doing at some actual utility instead of just being for aesthetic purposes, which otherwise is the only reason I would be doing this is just. The aesthetic of just having like a nice staircase to go up and down instead of I don't know not having one 
Although it's a little dark, so we'll just go sleep. All these little bushes in the way. <laughs> we also ran out of our... Uh, I'm probably going to make this a like one more out from the house at some point. Because this door can... Like if I'm opening the... If I'm walking in the door this way, it blocks my bedroom off, which I don't like. So we could probably get away. We could probably make do with uh, pushing this out by one more. It wouldn't really be that hard. We can just move this out of the way. I'll just put that there for now. Cause yeah, I want to move. And we can we can have like the bedroom still be just like the same. Uh, Thing. We'd have to redo the roof though. And I kind of like the roof how it is. And we could just give this little extra area, this little like antechamber or whatever, its own kind of like roof, I guess. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Maybe I didn't think this through. <laughs> wouldn't be the first. Wouldn't be the first time I just didn't think things through and just kind of decided to do something. I still have that chest that was there right here, though, so that's not too bad. Oh. Um, did I mess up the flooring somehow? I did here. Because I was a fool and didn't respect the, the grain of the wood. As, as you should, you should definitely respect the grain of the wood when you're... Oh, I don't know what I'm even saying, I'm just... <laughs> just talking. Just... Just freaking word diary. <laughs> Uh, and then we'll grab I think those are the 45s yeah those are the 45s oh, I kept pressing 3 instead of E see now if this door opens it's not going to block our way to our bedroom which was the whole point of me doing this that's literally it. it's just, I'm lazy and don't want to have to close the door. We'll give it a nice little roof, though. Wait, excuse me. I must have built that at the wrong snap point. I was like, wait, how is that? And why is that the way it is? There we go. Now it's sealed up. We don't have quite enough wood. We need like one, literally one more wood to finish this little thing here. Suppose I'll go bully a birch tree. Oh, you're out here all by yourself. Alone on a Friday night. How embarrassing. <laughs> Or how pathetic. I can't remember how that, like, thing goes. Shot him right between the fucking eyes like it deserves. This fucker, too. Just... Just throwing... Endless amounts of gray dwarves at me. It's a little annoying. <laughs> I'm 
Well, I've got the wood now to finish off the little house here. It's a little like ante room or whatever you want to you'd want to call it. A mud room maybe. I know some people have things like that in their houses where like it's like the area before your uh, like when you come in there to kick off your shoes or leave your shoes at or whatever. What do you, or do we even have any boars left alive? I do. I wasn't sure. These are one star boars I originally tamed. I just wasn't sure if I still just had them available to me. A fur cone, huh? And I have just enough to rebuild the, uh, chest here we'll do that whenever it's light out though because I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed not being able to see very well and i'm sure y'all are as well because it's not very good for viewing walking in a snowy wood and you come across a naked child sitting it's the truth his eyes closed with his chest moving to breathe that doesn't sound like a child you want to touch i mean probably don't want to touch a child anyway they're 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 childs children rather <laughs> I feel like that's an allusion to um, one of, something from uh, Ragnarok, because like at the end of Ragnarok, it's said that there'd be like um, two kid, two children hiding in Yggdrasil or some something like that, and that that seems like that would be one of those kids maybe, but ah uh, ah. Uh. All right, so we got. So now let's put this little, put that, and then we can place our chest back down. And technically, I have like two chests here. I probably will actually. I just need to kind of be able to see the right angle for this. Hmm. So these can be like for ore and stuff like that. What are you doing to my piggies? How did you not see me? I mean, I am sneaky, but still. <laughs> ah. Welcome, peaches. Oh uh, no, that's like the third jump scare with GABA today. <laughs> uh, I hope you're doing well today. GABA! Gabu, stop hitting my furnace, you fuck! How do you want? How do you feel if I hit you, huh? Little tree bastard. <laughs> Gabu. Gabu, Gabu, Gabu. We have no no trophies. We have this shit put away. Uh, it's wood. We'll just kind of tuck that away. We were previously building a little bridge across the river because I couldn't be asked to actually, like, go across the river myself. Gabba jump scare! Woo! <laughs> yeah, uh, Neki one requested I make that uh, sound, like, when I was doing Zillia. And after Zillia, I did. And it's just kind of been there ever since. <laughs> <laughs> at some point I might play Zillia too, but that's not gonna happen right away at least because we started Abyss last week and tomorrow we'll be doing more Abyss because I had to reschedule to Thursday this week because real life things happen sometimes I just realized I put the wood away and I was making this little staircase up here <laughs> so that I could get up and down this more easily without having to climb around on the hillside. Well, let's 
This tree's gonna be in the way anyway, so let's let's get rid of it. Ugh, fuck. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I've unfortunately ha seen an ad or two of that as well. I'm just like, can we not advertise fucking turf game? Fucking hog sharts, fucking school of dumb shits. <laughs> oh. Hey, Graydor, if you want to come down here and uh, play on the staircase, you're just gonna throw rocks at me. You look confused. Let me let me help you. <clears throat> Freedom! <laughs> Freedom from hog sharts. Alright, we're gonna get this rock out of the way. And we'll keep working on this little staircase. We're getting up there. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I gotta move the workbench closer because. We need to, we need one of these workbenches nearby to build stuff. So I gotta move it further up the hill. Okay, fine by me. <clears throat> All right, little tree. Forgive. I'm sorry, little one. <laughs> but you're gonna become more stairs. <laughs> Same thing with this bush here. It's kind of in the way and it'll give us a little bit of wood. I mean, that's probably good enough. So let's kind of try to flatten the area in comparison. Uh, let's see, six. We'll do this and then we'll mine until the yeah, it's probably fine. This, I, I decided to do it this way in the event that I do have a, a cart. Well, I have a cart already, I think. All right, that'll work. Cool. All right, cool. Job's done. In the event that I need to drag my cart somewhere, because I think I have a cart. I'm like 80% sure I made a cart already, and if not, then we're going to, because... Yeah. Uh, if I had one, it'd probably be over here next to the copper mine. But it doesn't look like it is, so maybe I don't. Maybe I'm gaslighting myself <laughs> into thinking I made a car. Let me play the song of my people. Okay. 
<laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> such melody, such grace. The Titanic flute's pretty good. It's, it's silly. Okay, our, our hi worm, what you doing, bud? Uh, he's gonna get he's gonna get in my bathroom sink so that he can drink water from the sink because he's a freak. Let's see how are the piggies doing? Y'all are safe. Y'all are fine. I need to move these ones farther away so that these ones will be able to breed properly. I think next stream we'll probably attempt to make one of the auto breeders, but for that we need to uh, make sure things are spaced out enough. Hmm. I might. How much wood I got on me? I have some. I'll get some more. Also, I gotta put this core wood away anyway, and we'll move those boars into there instead. Uh, I think core wood is in here. Why am I sneaking? <laughs> Grab that. That should be enough wood to kind of get stuff going. <clears throat> See, these round pole fences are sketchy, but they'll do. Oh, I need a workbench. Oh, yeah, they destroyed the one that was, like, right here in the last raid that happened. There we go. Somebody throwing rocks over here. Thought I heard one. I see one over there. Chop. Little tree man. Doing a little cartwheel down the hill. <laughs> yeah. This I love this game. But it, take, it takes so much time to do everything, like, in the, like, so much time to do everything, which is fine, but it's just the fact of, well, it just takes a lot of time, and I only have, like, three hours a day to stream this game, since I do it on Wednesdays, so, it's just, it's the, progress is gonna be a, a li not lightning quick. We could probably make it lightning quick, but then we'd be skipping a lot of the stuff, like, this, where I'm, like, building stuff and doing stuff, which... Maybe not, not conducive to having good life, I guess. You know, we're building this little fence so we can push the boars that are in the corner over there into this little shed here where they will spend They'll be kind of like reserve boars in the event something bad happens. They're the second string boars. What are you doing? Jerks. How much wood do I have left on? 27, that should be enough. Are you serious? I literally just killed whatever was over here. What are you doing? <laughs> if I am horizontal and wiggle my legs, does it count as a daily walk? I mean, sure. <laughs> I don't see why not. 
If you if you move your legs as if you're walking, even more so, because then you're basically walking. It's kind of the same thing, except you're not vertical. All right, that should be good enough to transport the boars there. These two boars are where are the ones that are gonna be transferred. They should be able to fit through here. Let's hop over here. Forgive me, boars, for what I must do. But the boars that are in here are uh, gonna be evicted. Sorry, sorry. Because this is where those boars are going to live, is in here. Evicted is kind <laughs> of... More dirt. Got some good old fashioned... More... More dirt. <laughs> We're, do we're mostly doing this so that we can um, breed more, like two sets of uh, boars. Violent, yeah. But, I mean, yeah. So we're gonna drag these these piggies into their new home over there. Let's. So we're gonna make them a nice little um, path <laughs> as well. And we're gonna, we're gonna, hopefully they'll start walking that way, but they might, uh, not want to do that. Oh, that one is. Kind of. Perfect. Go. Go this way. No. Go. Go. <laughs> no. <laughs> These boars are sometimes, um... Stop it! No, bad. Come on, boar. This way. Pushing boars. Oh, we got one of them in there. Let's go get the other one. <laughs> I, I, I'm gently guiding them to their new home. Well, maybe not quite as gently as I could be, but... Oh, ain't like that nice of you. You're just like, oh, I'm gonna go on a little walk. Look at you. Aren't you just being helpful? Or like, I saw what happened to the last boar that, <laughs> that didn't let me get... They're... They're home in the afterlife. Well, these ones are going to be in this little shed, and I'll breed them so they can be, like, reserve boars in case something bad happens to these ones over here. Because these two star boars are very valuable creatures. Because when one of these gets killed, it drops four meat and four leather instead of one of each. So they're very good. Very, very valuable creatures to have. I just need you to get... Oh, you just went right in. All right, cool. Well, that was a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. Let's get them. Let's get them some yum yums here, and they'll very quickly start um the thing that boars like to do. We're gonna be doing two breedings, so we're gonna need uh, four raspberries because they they will eat raspberries and get happy, and then they'll uh they'll, they'll hire some new friends. Okay, we'll turn this way, and we'll throw the berries, and they should turn to eat those pretty soon. Yep. 
Maybe. You're gonna make me a, a liar out of me? Nope, there they go. Okay, they're now happy and they'll s probably start doing uh, the thing that animals are very known to do. I'm not watching, I'm not trying to be a pervert. Just wanna make sure they're actually doing what they're supposed to do. <laughs> I haven't seen the hearts hearts yet, but they'll probably have Oh they're, yep, they're 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 doing the thing. <laughs> Where's oh. There you are. I'm not trying to be like, I'm not trying to be a peeping Tom for the boars. <laughs> Maybe we can destroy all these round pole fences now. That, their, their only purpose was to make sure the boars didn't like get sidetracked and run off somewhere. Yeah, we're gonna need to go get more blueberries next stream. Uh, we might be able to explore real quick after we finish this and sleep and all that I picked probably the worst time to feed the boars because when you sleep their food goes away like their 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 fed status does so they'll uh, not breed anymore you'll have to feed them more food more dirt <laughs> I was only saying Mordor because when I was playing Shadows Over Loathing, there's this part where like you're like in this curse, and it's like about this um this act this like ax this like axeman in this woods, these like big tree monsters, and they all talk in like weird old English, like Mordor, or I guess maybe French. I don't even know, but they 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 sound weird, and they're like Mordor. I did not commit the Mordor. <laughs> I just think it's pr real. I just thought it was really funny. So, uh, how many boars are in here? Three, only two now. Sorry, because yeah. Now, have y'all done? Have y'all done the deed? Is is there a child? I don't see a child and uh, we'll sleep if I had to feed him again then I will it's not a big deal I went on a, 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 a large raspberry picking spree <laughs> I know I'm wet but what are, what are what am I or about Yeah, if you like, if you like just if you like RPGs, I could highly recommend Shadows Over Loathing. It's very, it's a very funny, fun game. Highly recommend. I played, I played through it entirely on my on my Saturday streams. Oh, I heard, I heard a piggy be born. I know you're in there somewhere. Maybe. Oh, here have here have some more raspberries. Oh shit. I threw them in the wrong direction. There you go. I don't know where that piggy went. Did it get squirted out of the back somewhere? It's in there somewhere, I think. Let's grab some honey from our lovely bees. Love your love your work, bees. Thank you. Stacking up lots of honey because eventually when we make mead, that uses a lot of honey. But meads are very, very powerful. So it's in it's entirely worth it. Let's grab two more raspberries from our pile here. Unfortunately, I only got like about four or five minutes more left of stream that I can dedicate because 
Um, today I'm not gonna have lunch in my room, but I'm gonna be going into work even earlier just because I can eat lunch at work and gotta pay the bills. <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay, we'll give them their berries and they'll they'll do their business too. Eventually. I'll just leave them, I'll just leave them to it. I guess for the next like five minutes we'll just kind of cut some trees around the base. Because if I'm gonna build the uh, the the boar auto breeder next time, we're gonna need some wood. Damn, some pretty tall trees. Surprised this log's still up here. Oh hey, there was there was a piggy. Where where are you going? There was a baby that was that got popped out of here. Well, let's get you back in here, little child. Nope. Oh, that's not where you're... That's not the way to go, little one. <clears throat> there you go. Now you're in here. Yeah, sometimes the, the boars can just, um... Well, why are y'all not breeding? Did I did I throw it too far into the wall or something? Hmm. Oh, one of one of them ate it, but the other one did not. Which in that case, I guess we'll throw it this way. Hopefully that won't turn around the breed and yeah. There we go. Cool story. Alright, let's continue cutting some wood. Owie! My face hole. <laughs> oh. Or up here. I was like, where'd the other parts of the logs go? Alright, let's grab all this stuff here. I think a little bit of wood slid down here, too. And it's about a 48 wood. That's good. It would really benefit me if I started putting down more of these uh, workbenches, because the area around them is spawn free. So that would re reduce the amount of uh, that would reduce the amount of these gray dwarves that are showing up everywhere all the time. <clears throat> Okay, I'm just kind of extending an area around. <laughs> well, that might help with the uh, with things. And some of these were exposed to the elements, so they're a little damaged. All right, cool. <clears throat> 
Yeah, you, it, you, it's so easy just to lose time to this game because there's just so much to just always be doing. And then you're just like, fo I'm just focusing really hard on just trying to do what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> and then I get distracted and uh, it's all downhill from there. But <clears throat> a child, there's been a birth. Is it any, oh, there's been at least one birth in there. Yeah, the next step in my little plan here is going to be converting this into the, uh, to a boar breeder. So right here looks like to be about the middle spot, so we're going to start planning based off of that. So we got one, two, three, four. Like this. We're not gonna be building it now, but I'm gonna kinda set up for us building it. That's a, I think that's what I'm gonna do, want to do next stream is get this boar uh, breeder set up because by then we should also have the carrots kind of up and running, which will guarantee that we um, <clears throat> have stuff to breed the boars with. Now we've got a nice little center point. I think that's like right. Like right here. Yeah. That's the center point. <coughs> Excuse me. That we'll start building the thing off of next time. Ugh. Oh, sorry. Was didn't mean to look. I was just minding my own business and he started just uh doing stuff. <laughs> my mistake. Oh yeah, we got two babies in there. They're gonna be up to five. They're gonna be up to five boars within like a ten to twelve meter uh, area. I don't know if it's a radius or if it, it's probably it's probably a radius. But yeah, there's um. It's normally it's so that you can't just have like a million animals in one area. But there are ways around that, which we'll see next stream. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna ins this. This play session here. Got a lot, got a good amount of stuff done. Didn't really get much of the food situation fixed because I was just dealing with boars a lot, but that's how it goes some days. Sometimes you just gotta do the stuff that you uh, don't want to do, but kind of have to do. But we, we expanded the, far, the, the growing area for our carrots and stuff. And we made, did some work with the boars and we cut some trees, killed a few trolls. Pretty good stream, and I'll probably I'll be streaming it next Wednesday as well. But for now, that's gonna be the end of our stream. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming by and hanging out. I appreciate the company. Appreciate the jump scares of Gabba. Those are just those are fun, even if I'm like, ah, oh, Jesus, fuck. Uh, <laughs> and thank you, Haleen, as always. Thank you so much for the sub, the resub. Appreciate you. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be doing more. Tales of the Abyss. I wasn't able to figure out the HD texture pack thing because it's either it's either I do the English version with no s voiced skits and I have the HD texture pack, or I do the undub, which has Japanese voices with Japanese voiced skits. So and I prefer I think I prefer that. So we're gonna keep doing the thing we did, and we'll just be continuing the game tomorrow. But yeah, that's gonna be our stream for today. Let me see if I can find someone to raid into real fast. Looks like my friend Sabine. Ah, huh. looks like she changed her Twitch name already. Sweet. Looks like she's, <laughs> looks like she's playing uh, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, better her than me, but that's fine. I'm, I've never been a big Kingdom Hearts person, but that's okay. People are allowed to like things. So I'm getting into my stream. I'm gonna be rating into Twitchy Sabby or Sabby, I guess. <laughs> So, 
I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna just do that now and I'll if I don't see you tomorrow then I'll see you next time that I see you you have a great day